Hey guys, what's up? This is all about Ultimate Team and in the future we're going to provide you with player reviews for FIFA 13. We're also gonna do those reviews in German, so if you're German just uh, check out our channel um, for the German version. We're looking forward for your support and your suggestions for improvement. Just let us know what you think in the commentary. This time we take a look at Team of the Season Claudio Jacob. He's from Argentina, he's 25 years old, he plays for West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League. He plays CDM CM, he's right footed and his attacking work rate is medium, his defensive work rate is high and he has a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Let's take a look at the most important physical attributes. His acceleration is 73. His agility is 65, reaction is 83, sprint speed is 71, stamina is 86 and his strength is 80. The important mental attributes are aggression 76 and interceptions 90. Um, before we show you some in-game footage, let's take a look at the skill attributes. Um, 80 4 at ball control and you can see the bad curve and crossing 86 long pass 76 long shots 81 marking 86 short pass 74 shot, shot power 71 sliding tackle and 82 standing tackle his pace is pretty low and his acceleration is quite ponderous it almost felt like he's one of the slowest players we've ever had uh, same with his dribbling not really fast He's comparable with Liverpool's and Dortmund's Nuri Shine, but Nuri feels even a bit quicker and yeah, because of his dribbling skills and agility, Jacob feels like feels pretty much like moving a tank. His passing on the other hand is quite decent, especially the short passes. His long passes were also alright, but all in all nothing really outstanding. Um let's take a look at the shooting. We didn't see many really good long shots, uh, as you might expect of a team of the season player. Most of the special cards have great and powerful shot performances, but not Jacob. Um, his penal penalties aren't really good as well, neither are his free kicks. Now the defending. This is where he belongs. He, his standing and sliding tackles are awesome, but in the end a player like Scott Parker does the same job for less money. His heading skills aren't really that good. They're all right in the midfield, but after corners or free kicks, he was useless. Now the pros and the cons. Um, the pros are he's a blue card. He's cheap for a team of the season player. He's only 30k on PS3. As I already mentioned, he's, his passing is pretty decent. He has good standing and sliding tackles and yeah, he has nice defensive positioning. The cons are he's very slow, his dribbling is pretty ponderous, he, his shooting is pretty weak, especially the long shots and there are better and cheaper alternatives in the BPL. Okay, to conclude, this is our rating as CDM 7.5 out of 10. As CM 5 out of 10 and his price performance ratio is only 2 out of 10. Okay, goodbye guys, until next time where we take a look at second inform Jan Vertongen.